Hello everybody, this is Toys R Us and for this new figure unboxing and review we're going to be looking at the New Age Legendary Heroes. This is Dinosaur Forces Commander Ymir. So what we're going to do with this video, we're going to unbox him live in a second, have a look at the entire contents of the packaging. We're going to do a couple of comparisons with him and some other uses of the mould. We'll also see how he looks with other Dinobots in the same toy line. And of course, I will then go and get the original Generation 1 version of this figure and we can have a look at how he compares to them as well. So loads to get through with this video. So as I start to pop these away, I'd like to remind anybody who's not subscribed to the channel, if I'd hit that subscribe button for me now, please, because it really will help me out. And also to let you know, there's a direct link in the description for this product from ShowZ, which is where I got it from. And as you can see, they got it to me nice, quickly and safely. So again, there's an abundance of um versions of this figure loads of different decos in fact probably more than any other toy line if i'm being completely honest um this one i believe is the cartoon deco so this is how he looked in the cartoon the one i obviously showed you was the shattered glass um there is comic book versions there is g2 versions there's battle damaged versions there's just loads and loads of them what the interesting thing is apologies for the reflection each time is they all come with sort of different accessories. So again, this is, the reason why he's not called Grimlock is because he's made by New Age, which is the third party company. And because this figure transforms, he's not licensed by Hasbro or Takara to use that name. Hasbro and Takara only license companies to make non-transforming figures like YOLO Park 3.0, etc. So these are the instructions which are crazy difficult to understand. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to upload a tutorial for you to help you out. Um, and I'm going to keep it separately as well because there's just it'll take to it. It's, it's a quite a long-winded process and I just want to get as much done in this video as we can. So we've got the sword with a fire blast effect, a two sets of hands, the fish of course from the cartoon and his blaster. So he comes in a clamshell like this and it's probably making a load of noise. No, he's just in a bag as well. He's going to have a yellow QC pass sticker on him. Now, again, if you're new to these sort of figures, I don't know much about them. They are legend scale figures, um, which is, it's it's not like the legends, which I suppose Hasbro and Takara used to make. They're a little bit bigger than that, to be honest. Uh, what these are supposed to do, and I say supposed to do, but they do a really good job of it in robot mode, but in alternate mode, they don't scale too well at all. So and what I mean by that is they're all this, so they're, they've scaled all the heights pretty much exactly to the cartoons, but only really when they're in the robot mode because for obvious reasons you can see there's sludge and he is just towering above um grimlock now in his alternate mode but that's that's just me being extra pedantic you know all of the transformers it's in, they could they never could do it to be fair um but let me show you this as i was saying so these are dubbed as mini masterpiece figures because the detail on them is very it's really good to be fair we can see with the head you can swivel at the neck there you can lift it up and down you can open you should be able to it's very stiff you can open up the jaw now if memory serves me correct and I've already got no nails because of these figures. Yep, look, you could even spin it around. So you could have his red eyes if you wanted to. You just turn that around. And that would be like, um, obviously the red eyes is like the toy, isn't it? Uh, so you could spin the eyes around there. You can see that there's multi points of articulation in his arms at the shoulder where it spins, at the elbow, at the wrist, all there. With the big legs, you've got the full top which is the thigh you've got a, a knee you've got a bend at the knee you've got the toes which turn up and down as well um, and you can angle these as well so there's loads of movement there there's probably no there's no waist swivel there but as again you can see with the tail this will move and swish out as well right let's bring him in and put him quickly up against his uh, shattered glass then we'll get the g1 original as well so again, shattered glass, exactly the same mould, just of course, different colour scheme. And as I did mention earlier, there's an abundance of different uses of the mould already. This is the original G1 toy, so it's not too far off that. It's not very small compared to that at all, to be fair. With regards to some other figures, just to give you an idea of scale and size, we've got a little deluxe JP Jeep, we've got a deluxe drag strip, uh, we've got a Generation 1 Bumblebee. I haven't got many other things, to be honest, in alternate mode. 
uh, lying around but i will do of course a load more comparisons uh, to give you an idea of scale and height when we get him into his robot mode so yeah he's about the height as i say of a deluxe figure there you go right i think that's all there is to say about him in this mode let's come back and have a look at him in his robot mode Oh, okay then, back for the final time, and he's already in his robot mode. Apologies, no transformation process in this video. Um, it is very long-winded. I want to keep the length of the video down, so I've uploaded it separately. Also, you're going to see the transformation process of this guy, because the molds are exactly the same, but the tutorial, um, I know, has helped a lot of people. So I hope it helps you guys out as well. Right, with regards to the robot mode itself, it is, look at that, it's definitely cartoon accurate, and it? it looks great. And this is, again, what you'll see about the meaning of Mini Masterpiece. The head is on a ball and socket so you've got full rotation looks up and down if you just move these wings slightly out of the way the shoulders will give you the full t they'll come out to the side they will go all the way around until they get restricted by the back but to be fair you could probably maybe move some of these out of the way just to get more rotation if you wanted to there is a swivel at the bicep there is a bicep flexion i'm going to put the fists on in a second that is exactly why um he hasn't got the hands on there yet and there will be a wrist locate a sorry wrist articulation as well i've just knocked off the small dinosaur hands but you can see it's as easy as that to just relocate them now this is one of the clever parts that uh, these figures have got they've got ab crunches so you can see there that's not a part of transformation at all it is planned it is intended in that figure it does crunch up and over like so and you've still got the completely unrestricted waist swivel you've got the hip skirts which will then lift up and allow the legs to kick right the way up and indeed go right the way back as well now the only thing that is unsightly with these we're going to come to in a second but you can also twizzle that there there's a knee bend there's ankle tilt and rock and yes unfortunately this is the way that it is supposed to be however what comes um, if you buy the comic um, or whichever the version which is exactly the same the cartoon version of um, sludge funnily enough which i'm lucky enough i think to have here is that might be the same one so i'm going to go check his parts because he came with these additional little covers which meant that you could cover up the inside of the leg so if that's the case i'm pretty sure i've got it downstairs i will do that in a very quickly separate video as well just to show you what he looks like with regards to that however we need to get his accessories out of the pack because he doesn't come with them now as well i need to mention that you can do the transformation process with the fists left on as well even though these don't come with any of the fists you can leave them on i'm gonna funnily enough just go with the fists not the open hands purely for the reason exactly what i wanted to say i want to show you how he holds any wheels around his accessories so because i'm just going to attach these now this just reaffirms that there is a wrist swivel which you can see we can then pop the gun in his hand typically it's stiff there we go of course it's brand new you've just seen me open everything so i've got that brand new stiff figure uh, feeling that needs to just tab slightly better into there there we go and re then attach this fist as well so we'll just do some normal i suppose stances like that we can also then attach this also comes off as well as far as i'm aware yes it does so that blast effect yes i didn't show you this so this blast effect can then be put into the dinosaur's mouth and he could blast fire out as well just remember that that's the other thing with this because they come with so many accessories sometimes you forget all the things that they can do and the other thing that's annoying with this because it doesn't show any of these extra features extra attachments on the instructions it literally shows a transformation process so you know the changing of the eyes in the um dinosaur mode etc you just you don't see that uh, you got to sometimes either see other reviewers see photos or work it out for yourself right there he is in his robot mode he is typically fallen over as always the original g1 figure there you go so excuse all the glare you don't get to say that much anymore with regards to figures being covered in chrome but that's exactly what the original ones were so he's not much smaller than it to be honest in fact if i do some generation one comparisons first to give you an idea of scale and size then if we look to move on to mainline figures from today to give you an idea of scale and size 
then we can bring on of course new age figures and then some other legend scale figures as well so there indeed of course is deluxe there is core uh what have we got here i've got voyager class here there's no point bringing in a leader class because it's just going to completely tower above him but that's this is unusual for new age most of the figures are about this sort of height uh, but because obviously the dinobots in the cartoon were really tall they've managed to of course emulate that into the figure and got him at a nice size with regards to the rest of the dinobots there we go this is just the ones that they've released so far so that's how he looks with regards uh, to them which i'm sure you'll agree he looks pretty good um, if you don't collect new in fact i've got david as well here which is of course their take on optimus uh, so as again in the cartoon he was grimlock was bigger than optimus in the cartoon but if you don't collect new age or you're thinking of starting collecting new age and you would collect things like magic square at the moment they still scale with magic square and with iron factory there's not too much difference at all great looking figure great bit of articulation um again they're just fun they are fun this is one of my favorite uses of so this is one of my favorite new age figures some of them are a bit te um, tedious uh, magic square for me are far more tedious than these but i like these i like the way they look and i also like the fact that you've got the abundance of choice with regards to the with the style of the mold that you want right let's just see if i've got these covers and we can add that to the end as well so yes i was correct in my thinking um yes the sludge figure which is a bit strange because um i'm sure this has been as i say reissued since they've made the sludge figures this obviously came out way before sludge initially but then they've re made this figure so they've reissued it and these leg guards do come with the sludge figure so i don't understand why uh they didn't take the opportunity to do um you know to put them with the, i suppose the standard figure that we've got now am i doing this completely backwards it looks like i am doesn't it there we go yep these should line up like so that's a million times better got to confess you can tell already that's a million times better but the only negative thing is as i say it's it's clever it's clever marketing it's a bit like well every company tends to do it so um yeah if you want to get the leg guards with it you've got to buy new ages sludge um, as well at the moment and again they all correspond depending on the same um, color that you get but there you go that has tidied that up much better because that was a real big negative part for myself in honesty with that there you go anyway he has got the leg guards he does look a lot better he is a good figure let me know what you think of him in the comments guys